Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Randy with my Samsung Epic 4G again. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new EXT4 ROMs that are out. Um, if you have not updated your Clockwork Mod to 3.0.0.5, you're going to want to do that before you start trying out any of these ROMs. Um, I have a video tutorial on how to do this, and I will provide the link under the description. And as always, the link to the ROM that we are working on will also be underneath the description to make it easier for you to find and download. And uh, right now, we're going to be, we just did the uh, Cyanogen Mod version 6.2. And as you can see, that's it running on the, uh, on the Epic right now. We're going to try out, uh, we're going to go with Frankenstein this time. I've had several requests for Frankenstein. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. Um, first thing you're going to do is plug in your USB cable. And once it recognizes it, you're going to click on USB. You're going to tell it to turn on USB, tell it OK, and you'll get a screen popping up on your computer once it's connected. I'll try to focus this in a little better for you there. You're going to open it up. And you don't have to do this. This is just something I do. Um, there's my uh, CM6 kernel and ROM. I'm going to go ahead and delete them. I don't, I don't like cluttering up my uh, SD card. And then you're going to take your Frankenstein ROM, which I have right here. Copy it and paste it to the root of your SD card there. It's going to take a minute because these ROMs are fairly big. Okay, got it on the SD card. I'm going to move this one out of the way so I remember that I've already made a video on it. Now we're going to go back to your Epic. You can, uh, you can unplug your USB cable now. Alright, so assuming that you've got your uh, ROM on the SD card now, and you've got the updated version of Clockwork Mod that supports the XT4 partitions, you're going to power off your phone. That was quick. That was unbelievably quick. I cannot wait for Cyanogen, Cyanogen Mod to be finished. Okay, so you're going to bring it into Clockwork Mod using volume down, camera, power buttons. Keep holding it until you get the black background with the orange letters. There you go. Now you're going to want to wipe everything two to three times. So you're going to wipe data, factory reset. And do it again. And one more time for good measure. Then we're going to wipe cache partition. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. A little blurry there. I'm going to see if I can clean that up a little bit. And then we're going to go to advanced. Oops. Well, that was stupid. It should just reboot back into recovery. Sorry about that. Got a little carried away. Alright, anyway, back to advanced. We're going to wipe the Dalvik cache three times also.
Now we can go back. We're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And you're going to go down to your Frankenstein. And this is, looks like version 17C. I'm going to tell it yes. And then give it a few minutes. All right, and now we go back and we reboot system. And as usual, it's going to take a couple minutes for the uh, the first boot up while it gets everything set up. Okay. So here we go. Skip. I'm going to sign in real quick so that I can download uh, benchmarks. Lovely. Oh, misspelled my name. Okay. All right. Okay, here's Frankenstein. It's a very clean ROM. I really like it. It's really nice. Let's go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi and GPS so that we can test those out. Okay, 
Apparently I got an email. Nice. Now, I've never used this before, so uh, we'll go see what your phone looks like. It's a really clean blacked out dialer. That looks nice. This should be messaging, I'm guessing. Okay, contacts. It should be your apps. You've got the new YouTube, wireless tether. What else do we have here? You got your stock sprint hotspot. Let's try out our GPS real quick. Not bad. Okay, I'm not sure what happened to it there, but. Okay, that is where I live. So, not bad there. These will be your text messages. Let's see what kind of choice of keyboards you get here. You just get the Samsung keypad. That's all you're going to get on this. All in all, it looks really nice. Let's give a give it a couple benchmarks. See what kind of numbers it pulls up. Actually, it says that it just restored six applications, so I may already have it in the app drawer here. There's Quadrant. There we go. Seems to fly through these uh, these video tests. All right, got a 1592. I'm pretty sure you can't see it, but yeah, this is not going to work. I tried. Check out Linpack. this focus straightened out here. All right. Hopefully it got Linpack on here. There we go. Thirteen point eight eight nine. Six point oh four seconds. And 14075 and 5.96 seconds. So there you go. This is Frankenstein. Uh, not really much else to show or tell you about it. Uh, very good ROM. Very clean. I, I, I love this down here. That's just that's really nice. Your little launcher bar and uh, app drawer is really clean. Nice little animations. Uh, very, very nice ROM. So, uh, good scores. Um, like I said, the link to this ROM will be underneath the video. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to hit me up. And uh, I'll do my best to get back to you as, uh, as soon as I possibly can. And thank you for watching.